do you struggle with your purpose? Like, why are you here on this earth? Why are you waking up at whatever time you're waking up and going about the motions and doing all this stuff? What is your whole purpose of being here? Have you ever asked that question? I know that I have. I know that there are days when I still do. And we're going to dive into what that question really means and how important it truly is to figure that out, not just for our physical health, but for our mental health and for our relationship health and everything. So strap in and get ready for episode 083. Let's go. I've always been that skinny guy. Why can't I gain muscle mass? What do I do in the gym? They said I'd always be skinny. This is your complete source for how to gain lean muscle and break out of your skinny body. From nutrition to getting the most out of your workouts and everything in between. We know just how frustrating gaining muscle mass can be. But don't worry, we've got you covered. You're listening to the Bones to Bulk podcast. Hey, welcome to today's episode. My name is Brian Parody, and if you have not been to bonestobulk.com, please head on over there grab your free training. We have so much good stuff on the website. You'll see it right on the front page. You can grab that free training. We also, you can go back and listen to any of our old podcasts on there. You can pick up a shirt from our newly launched gear line. Like there's so many different things you can do on our website. So head on over there and check it out. All right. With that being said, let's dive into today's episode. What is our purpose in life? Why are we here? You know, it can be really easy to, and I'm, I was extremely guilty of this, and I'm going to tell that story in a minute, but it's really important to know why we're here. Because having a purpose in what we do, having a purpose in our life is the essentialism to our survival almost. I mean, not in the basic sense of having, you know, food and shelter and water and all that, but in the sense of being confident that we're fulfilling some bigger cause because I don't know about you, but I do believe that there's, there's something bigger in life. I don't know what that looks like. I don't know what that is, but there's something bigger than myself, if that makes sense. And I want to do something that I feel like contributes to that. And it can be really hard to do that, especially when you're in a job that you don't like, or when you really don't have any hobbies or you don't know what you're passionate about or what you love. And it's, you get in this mundane routine where you just literally every day you go through the motions. You get up, you put your clothes on, you go to work, you're in this fog all day long, just waiting to get off work. And then you get off work and not much is better. You come home, you chill on the couch, watch some TV, go to bed and repeat it all and wait for the weekend or vacation. Like, and I get that. I was there for a very long time, a very long time. I worked a job for five years that it was a good job. Like in all, I'm thankful for the job. I'm not saying anything about that. Like it, it was good to me. It paid well. It had good benefits. Um, I had no qualms on any of that. But it was not something I enjoyed at all. And you can ask my wife. I didn't come home in the best mood most days because it, it, I was just beat down. Because I, I hated what I did. I found no fulfillment in it. I felt like I was literally just serving no purpose. And because it wasn't, it wasn't in me to do. And I don't mean to say that every job I believe has a purpose and we're all designed to do different jobs and we all find purpose in different jobs. That's why there's so many different jobs. Why some people are called to be doctors or police officers or firefighters or teachers or businessmen or accountants or whatever it is. Like we're all called to certain things. And that for me, just what I was doing was not my calling. And I was so fearful when I worked there to leave because I felt stuck. I felt like there wasn't another way. I felt like I make pretty good money, and so I just need to bide my time here and, and you know, tough it out. But what I didn't realize is at the time was that this can be replaced. And what ended up happening to get me out of that? So I had a job opportunity halfway across the country. And at the time, my wife and I, we did want to move. We wanted to move out of the state we lived in, and we wanted to move. And this job opportunity presented itself in Georgia. And we were like, let's do this. And it was, 
scary. I'm not going to lie because everything went wrong. Um, where we thought we were going to live fell through like two, literally two days before we were moving, like getting in the truck and moving. So we had to find another place to live in like two days. And there was just a lot of stress involved in that whole situation. Crazy stuff happened. Long story short, we move here now where we're at in Georgia and I get in my job. I'm working there. Things are going good. Three months in, funding for the project I was working on gets cut and I'm on bye bye. And so I'm immediately second guessing myself. I made the wrong decision. I should have stayed at my job. I shouldn't have moved my family here. What am I going to do? I'm not providing, blah, blah, blah. You know the you know the drill. You if you've ever been there, you know. And it was a terrifying place to be. But I'm so thankful for that experience. Not that I would ever want to relive it, but it really opened my eyes to see that everything can be replaced because I was able to make ends meet for about a month until I found a new job. I did Uber. I took up a couple part-time jobs and made ends meet until I found a full-time position. And yeah, it did it suck for a while going through it. Was I scared out of my freaking mind? Absolutely. But at the same sense, it got me out of that state of thinking that this is forever, that I'm destined to be in this one thing forever because I was able to pave a new way. And so I don't ever want you to feel like you're stuck, that you can't transition into something new. It's going to be scary. Like, I'm just throwing that out there. It's going to be scary. There's no way around that. But that's okay. It, it truly is okay. Face that fear. Go through it. And I truly believe you'll come out on the other side better for it. So in kind of wrapping up this episode, just go after what you know to do. If you know that you're in a job or you're doing something that's just not you, change, switch, like go do something else. And this carries across into hobbies too. I know so many people are like, I don't know what my passion is. And I was this way. I was this way for the longest time. I was like, I don't know what I'm passionate about that I can throw myself into. You know, you always hear about once you find that one thing, you just will will do anything for. And I had nothing. I I had nothing. I was like, I have no clue what I like, what I enjoy doing. And you know, the best way to figure that out, try new things. Every week, decide, I'm going to go try this class this week. I'm going to go experience this in nature this week. I'm going to go to the store and try this craft. Like, whatever it is, whatever it is, I'm going to take up fishing. I'm going to take up hunting. I'm going to take up, find somebody who can teach me how to work on vehicles. I'm going to learn how to write this book. I'm going to learn how to play this guitar. Whatever it is, start trying new things and give yourself some time in it. Don't do it once and give up. Give yourself some time in doing that thing. And if you don't like it, move on to something else. And eventually you're going to hit on what brings you passion, what brings you purpose. So don't give up. Thank you so much for listening to our new Monday episodes where we touch on all things that are more for building ourselves up emotionally and mentally outside of the physical realm because that's what our Thursday episodes are for. So stay tuned for a Thursday episode because we've got a really good one coming up this week. All right, with that being said, remember, no matter what anybody has told you, what walls you've come across, you've got this. <laughs>